we're gonna do this run and gun style because done is better than perfect. When most people think of Baton Rouge, they think of LSU and maybe the state capital. But there are also hidden nature scenes throughout Baton Rouge that a lot of people aren't aware of. I believe that Tara and I found one of those scenes with this shoot, and I'm happy to share them with you today. Coming up. What's up, everybody? My name is Larry G. I am a photographer based in Louisiana, from Baton Rouge to New Orleans and everywhere in between. And today I'm just going to be sharing with you one of my favorite spots in Baton Rouge that's very nature, hikey, filled with green and greenery, and it's tucked away uh, kind of in the heart of the city. A lot of people probably don't know where it is or where it exists, so when I tell them where it is, like, There's no way, that, there's no way, no way. Ah, but there is a way. Similar to the last photo shoot that was featured on this channel, I had the model call out there, Tara reached out. I took a look at her Instagram and I saw that she loves going on nature hikes and nature walks and things like that. And I thought this nature theme was something that was sitting in the back of my mind that I wanted to do, but I didn't really have the subject matter to do it. And so when Tara reached out and said that she would like to model for me, I said, that's perfect chance for me to hop on this nature thing and get going with that. So that's exactly what we did. I asked Tara to come prepared for hiking, to bring a prop if she could, and uh, just wear some nice boots. And Tara showed up and showed out with her outfit, the boots, the backpack, it all came together and I am very proud of the images that we captured. With a lot of the shoots that I do, especially with models that I haven't shot before, the first couple shots are mostly just warm up shots. Even though I knew Tara before, just having those first interactions, having those laughs, uh, just talking about what's going on in your lives, catching up a little bit, always helps ease models into what's going on and learning how to give and take direction. So I really encourage anybody who's working with models to have those conversations, plan that time for the front part of your shoot if you don't do it before that. Really get to know your models, learn how to speak to them, talk to them, uh, know a little about them. That just makes everything a lot better. That just makes the energy in the shoot better. It makes your communication better. You learn how to talk to them and they learn how to receive uh, direction from you and so everything can flow more smoothly. Moving on to the shoot. So I wanted to start with uh, basically a clean slate. So the first thing we shot was just Terra in basically open space. You can see in these images there's a lot of trees and greenery and that's just taking advantage of the open space of the park. My idea for the shoot was to start open and then narrow in and I believe that's exactly what we did. We started in the open area near some trees there's a pond river it's not a river but it's like a stream ditch thing because we live in louisiana we started near there and we really played with this giant tree for a long time we shot around in that area and really captured some cool stuff angles 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 i will never stop telling people Learn to work your angles. If you shoot primes like I do, move around, move your feet, get up high, get down low, twist the camera, turn the camera, have the model hold the same pose and work around them. That is the perfect way to really work a spot, work a location as much as you can. After this tree area, we kind of moved into a different kind of open area. We really crossed over the stream and then basically shot the back side of the tree which I thought was still pretty cool because it's cool to get one side of a tree, but like I just mentioned, angles. So you flip it and go on the other side of the tree, on the other side of the stream. Uh, with these low hanging branches, we were really able to work with them and Tara was able to climb it a little bit. And then, you know, the shots came together. Moving on, I really wanted to take advantage of the trail aspect. So this last, batch last set of things was really focused on her wearing the backpack looking like she's going on a hike looking like she's hiking in the woods having her walk a little bit back and forth having her sit down in this area that looks like it's meant for sitting getting some close-up stuff having her pose behind trees just really 
taking advantage of the environment and creating images that really represent that, I think, that hiking and outdoorsy feel. My name is Tara. Um, we took photos on a hiking trail, like trees, and just like very like nature, like earthy, like boho feeling. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Larry made me feel very comfortable. He's very good at giving me like directions and just giving me like tips and stuff. So that's all I have for today. If you really want to take a look at the images and spend some time with them, they are on my website. It's LarryG.com. Please feel free to go there, check out my website, check out the blog, spend time with the images, look them over, visit my Instagram, Instagram.com slash It's LarryG. I'm sure you'll find it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy the images. Please comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you do want to see, what you don't want to see. Any feedback that you guys have is always greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when I post a new video. That's all I got. My name is Larry G and you can believe that.